creating an event on TitanLink, and submitting an on-campus space reservation for your organization or campus department. Organization officers, primary contacts, and other members who have been given access can create events on TitanLink for your organization. First, make sure you're signed into your TitanLink account using your CSUF credentials. Then go to your organization's homepage under Memberships, or on the toolbar on the left side of the page, click on your organization you would like to manage. Under your organization, click on Events. On the Manage Events page, you can view future and past events that your organization created, as well as create a new event to create a new event, you would click on the top right button. Then it will take you to a page where it asks you to create an event title, select a theme, and also create a description. You can also add any additional organizations or departments that you may be co-hosting this event with. You will then enter a time and place. You can also enter an online location and give instructions on how to access it. If your event is reoccurring, click on Add Another Date and add additional dates and recurring events with the dates and times. At the bottom of the page, you will add event visibility. You can select if you want your event to the public, which is everyone on the internet, just students and staff at Cal State Fullerton, just your organization members, or specifically invited users only. You can click on event categories to select from the list of different types, as well as add perks like free food, free stuff, or course credit. Once you finish your edits, click Next at the bottom of the page. These next two pages will go over RSVP settings and event ratings. Once you have completed, click Next. On this next page, you will be able to upload an event cover photo. Then you will have to answer some additional information about your organization in order to move forward. You will then click Continue to Custom Fields. You'll be able to select what type of event this is if it's an on-campus event that you'd like to reserve space for or an off-campus event that you'd like to promote on TitanLink. If you're reserving a space on campus, you'll be prompted to select a type of space. Outdoor space includes Central Quad, ECS Lawn, or Titan Walk. Athletic spaces include the intramural fields or other non-classroom athletic spaces. For indoor events, you can choose between classrooms, rooms for the TSU, or rooms in housing and residential engagement. For specific events, you can choose from Titan Bowl and the Billards of the SRC. Depending on which space you select, you may be prompted to narrow down to a more specific space, such as a classroom number or a Titan Walk table number. Next, you'll be asked to provide more event details, such as whether food is provided, expected attendance, and whether you'll have amplified sound. After you finish completing everything when creating an event, you will then click Submit. If you ever need to make changes to the details of your event, such as the time, locations, and visibility, you can do so by initiating a request for the event. Go back to how you would when you would create an event by clicking on your organization setting icon, then going to events. Once you get back to the events page, you will click on your event. Then you'll click on change details on the top right. Make any changes that you need to and continue through the form until you have to resubmit at the end. Once you make all the changes, then you will click on resubmit. The changes will be resubmitted for approval by a Student Life and Leadership Titan League Administrator. We will now go over how to track and manage event attendance for your organization or campus department. There are various ways to track and manage attendance in Titan Link. First, start by clicking on the icon on the left side and scrolling over and clicking on events. You can track and manage events manually by locating the event that you want to track. Click on the three dots on the right and select add attendance. You will then see three tabs at the top. The invitation tabs will show you the event of users that were invited who have RSVP. For each user, select the appropriate level of attendance. You can also add a comment if needed. On the text entry tab, you can add attendee information in bulk with their CSUF emails. You can add up to 500 emails in the text box and indicate the attendance data. Under File Upload, you can upload a Word document or a spreadsheet with email addresses to upload for attendance and indicate whether they attended or not. On the Manage Event page of any of your events, you will find an attendance URL. You can locate this event by scrolling down and finding attendance URL. Any TitanLink user who visits this URL during the event or within 72 hours after the event ends will be marked as attending your, for your event. 
This is a URL that you can share with any of your attendees during your event so they can self-report their attendance. The access code about the attendance URL is a unique code specifically for your event. You use this access code when utilizing the event check-in app to check in your event participants. You will check in your participants when scanning their event pass, which is a QR code that everyone at Cal State Fullerton has access to when they log into their tie-in link account. The QR code can be accessed by clicking on your profile and it will be shown on the left. Also, under event attendance is invitations and RSVPs. Once you click on the button of invitations and RSVPs, you will be shown a list of everyone that was invited or people who filled out the RSVP. You will also see the RSVP response, the guest account, and a link to the full RSVP details, which includes any RSVP questions that you may have created during the event submission process. You can also export the RSVP list that includes all of the RSVP information. Under Manage Participants, you can contact respondents and invite people. As a part of creating or modifying events, you can also customize how users RSVP to your events and change events. As a part of creating or modifying your events, you can also customize how users RSVP to your events in the change events. These features will be shown on the second page of the event submission process. You can select how to RSVP, the number of event spots, allow guests, allow respondents to represent an organization, and you can also add RSVP questions. Some RSVP questions can be there if any accommodations are needed to attend the event. You can also select from a variety of question types and develop your questions. And that is how you can create and edit an event in Titan Link. If you have any questions, please contact our office at studentlife at fullerton.edu. Thank you.